Welcome back to the channel. We'll be going over this head replacement effect today in Final Cut Pro. If you are new here, this is the channel for all Final Cut Pro tips, tricks, and plugins. Here on the screen is our site where we have plenty of plugins. Go check it out, www.b3-studios.com. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into the video for today. Okay, so we have our clip of LeBron yelling. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace his head with a tiger's head that's roaring as well to make this look like a more realistic and more visual appealing effect. So a tip on where to get, you know, external footage or footage from uh, another source would be, you can YouTube tiger roar animation. You can Google it. Um, but what I did was I just typed into YouTube tiger roar animation and this came up and how I converted it and downloaded it to my system or my computer was I um, used this website. So this is a YouTube to MP3 converter, but what you want to do here with the videos, you want to convert this, you want to press this button right here to convert it to an MP4. If you leave it at an MP3, it's just going to convert with sound. So you want to push this button to make it a video. The MP4 makes it a video and you just paste your YouTube link right here and it will appear in your downloads folder. Just press convert and it'll appear in your downloads folder. Now, once you have that, I will, ask, I will also put this link in the description, uh, this YouTube to MP3 link in the description. Um, but once you have that, you want to uh, bring this in the timeline. Also, another tip is um, since LeBron is facing this way when he's yelling and the tiger is kind of facing the opposite way, I am going to use an effect right here. We're going to go to our effects tab and I'm going to go to all. I'm just going to type in the flip. And this is just going to flip this to the opposite way. So LeBron is facing this way. That's where the tiger is facing. So we're going to make this kind of in the same direction to make it easier on us. So to start this effect off, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our effects tab and we're going to go to masking and keying. And we're going to add a draw mask right here onto our tiger. A clip and we're just gonna mask around the tiger you want to try to mask uh, not too close to the tiger head I'm gonna do it a little bit outside of the tiger head just for the specific effect because we're just gonna do some feathering after Okay, now, once you have your effect, you want to choose a spot where um, the lion is, or the tiger is roaring just like LeBron is. So about right here is where he starts to roar. And we just want to line that up with LeBron. I'm gonna stretch this scene out. I'm gonna stretch this scene out a little bit more. So, um, we're actually gonna scale this lion head, or the tiger head down. So, let's go to the scale, click on the clip, and scale this down. Rotate it if you want to match kind of LeBron's head. And um, now we're going to add our feather. So we're going to go up here and add our feather. Now that makes it look 10 times better. Gonna scale it down to just a little bit more. That's right here. And 
now what we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna leave it on the transform right here so make sure this is highlighted in blue and we're gonna keyframe uh, on the position and the scale make sure your playhead is in the beginning of this tiger clip when you're keyframing we're gonna go uh, frame by frame to match the tiger head on LeBron's head If the feather's too much, you can reduce it. Just try to align the tiger's head with LeBron's head as accurately as possible. And we're just gonna trim this at the end. Let's play it back to see how this looks. Looks pretty good. And we can add a transition on top of this to make it look a little bit cleaner. We can also make adjustments to our feather. You can just make adjustments, you know, along the way just to make this look as real as possible and if you want to get a bit more creative you can add uh, a glow to this so this is a glint light plugin so i will add this in the link in the description you can add a little bit of glow to this to make the uh, the tiger stand out so uh, as we play this back brighter if you want it's really up to you here is the final outcome i hope you all enjoy this video um, we will have a lot more videos coming soon to help you on your final cut pro journey um, like i said we do have a website www.b3-studios.com where you can find plenty of plugins to help you in your workflow in final cut pro a lot of preset plugins a lot of plugins that are free some that you have to pay for but um, all in all the website will definitely help you out in your final cut pro journey i hope this video helped you guys out and uh, comment below what other tips you would like to see from this channel I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you soon. Thank you.